नेक्स्ट एस एफिल की वर्ड दैट वी हैव इज लाइक लाइक की वर्ड इज यूज विद बेसिकली स्ट्रिंग्स टू कंपेयर अ फील्ड वैल्यू विद अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग एंड हाउ वी यूज दैट इज हेर इज अंपल एग्जाम्पल सो सेलेक्ट नेम फ्रॉम अकाउंट वेर नेम लाइक जेन पॉइंट सो दिस क्वेरी विल रिटर्न ऑल द रिकॉर्ड दैट हैव द नेम लाइक जेन पॉइंट इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग इक्वल्स टू ऑपरेटर आई हैव यूज लाइक ऑपरेटर ओवर है सो इट विल रिटर्न ऑल द रिकॉर्ड दैट हैव द नेम फील्ड वैल्यू एज जेन पॉइंट But there are two wild cards as well in like keyword that we can use to uh, do different different stuff. Let me explain it to you what they are and how uh, they are different and how we can use them. So the first wild card is percentage. So percentage wild card is basically used to compare a single uh, like a zero or n number of characters in front of it, in before it, or between any of the string. So uh, here is a simple example. I have written a query over here. Select name from account where name like burlington and after burlington i have used percentage so it means it can be only burlington name can only be burlington or burlington textiles or burlington exports or burlington llc oh, anything literally anything so it can include like it it will definitely include burlington but it can also include any number of characters after burlington so it will also return those records as well over here and those records will be stored into this acc list one uh what list and uh, uh like another example of this percentage uh, wild card is this one so i have written down select name from account where name like percentage oil percentage so that means before oil there can be anything and after oil there can be anything so it will return all the accounts that have the name as uh like i mean the name can include oil either in between either on the last or on to the first uh, or it can only be oil as well so it will return all those records to us with the help of this percentage wild card and the another wild card that we have is underscore so this uh, underscore wild card will basically help us to compare a single character or a single value not multiple characters or multiple values so in this example i have used it as select name from account where name like underscore force so that basically means that there can be only one character before this force in the name field of that particular account and if there is some account that exists uh, whose name includes force and one character before uh, force uh, then that particular account will be returned by this sql query so the next sql query that we have is uh, and or or and slash or uh, so like this sql keyword is basically used to concatenate two conditions together in an sql query so let's have a look at the simple example over here so uh, here i have written down a query uh, select name comma amount from opportunity where amount is greater than 100000 and stage name is equals to closed one so it will only return the opportunities which has amount greater than 100000 and also the stage is equals to closed one it will not return the records which only have the amount uh, greater than 100000 but the stage name is something else or uh, which has the stage name as closed one but but the amount is not greater than 100000 it will not return those opportunities whereas if i'll use or keyword in between like i've done in this second query so it will return all the opportunities which may have uh, like amount like which either have amount greater than 100000 or stage name equals to closed one it will return all of those opportunities and also will return uh, the opportunities which have both of the conditions as true so either of the if either of the condition is true or will return that particular record but with and both of the conditions needs to be true and you can use it as many times as you want in a single soql query